I managed a record store before I did Waves, and I thought that would be like the best job, and it was just miserable. But I've been playing music since I was 13, but I never thought it was like an actual, something that I, I could actually do and make a living. But it got as big as it did be on accident. <laughs> I feel anxious all the time and shitty and worthless and, you know, all of those things that everybody probably feels working a nine to five retail job. Everybody in the indie scene cl claims, whoops, as far as music business, you know, people that you kind of have to deal with when you do this job, um, they're all, oh, we're, but, you know, we're the indie guys. We're like the indie guys. You know, you're owned by Warner Brothers. You're all owned by somebody. You're, and even if you're not, it doesn't matter. Indie doesn't mean fucking shit. It means you make a little bit less money than a major, but they still have the same mindset. Billy masturbated in the van today. I did. Into a shirt Tossed while everybody was in the van. Awake. Everyone was awake, awake in the van. Threw it out the window. Threw it out the window. What do you think about that? I beat off in the van. That's how I get my <laughs> shit off. It makes me feel like a big man. And uh, it kind of is my way of marking my territory. These jokers know don't sit in my seat because it's got cum in it. Just kind of stay away from me, you know? I was a chiropractor. Four waves. Yeah. And it was actually awesome. Actually, we met because he cracked my back. Yeah. My dad was Elvis and my mom was BB King. So I used to do a lot. I used to do a lot of sitting in and on the old. It was you'd go down and get a bucket of fried chicken and drink some moonshine and you'd sit in with Elvis. That's what Memphis is all about. Here, come on, come on, get up, get up here. Hey, get up, get up on stage.
Primavera, Primavera in Spain about six months ago. Something, I don't know, whatever. March? May. March. May. I was watching Apex Twin, yeah. and Steven Apex works Twin. for the label awesome. that he is on, and I was like, I want to watch Apex Twin. I don't want to go see Waves. And but then we heard Nathan was just melting on stage. I'm like, oh shit, yeah. we gotta go clean that up. We went up. and got a bucket, sweeped him into the bucket, put him in a freezer. You can't sweep melting. You mopped. mopped. Swooped. Mopped. Mopped. Squeegee. 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 Swiffered. Yeah, that's the weird. Everybody thinks he actually melted. melted. He was. No. I was on drugs. I apologized, still kind of fucked up, honestly, we had and realized that it was kind of stupid. Yeah, we had MDMA. The apology you think was stupid? Yeah, well, at the time, well, there were a lot of things going on with me at that time, like, you know, canceling the tour and not getting along with uh, the person I was playing music with yeah. at the time. And imagine your mom reading that you just All did a lot shit. of drugs in Spain. Oh, my yeah. mom, my grandma, like, you know. And if anybody like wants to question why or why, just start a band. Have it become really successful. Get on Primavera Festival in Spain after you've only played like 10 shows. And then write me an email about it, because I'd like to see you do it. Because that would be really surprising if you could. And if you could, then tell me that you did it very well, you didn't have a meltdown, and you were fine. Because that's great for you, but... You know, whatever. I was melting down. I was melting like a goddamn ice cube the whole <laughs> weekend. Like, just not, you know. It was so full of it, MDMA. An average 22 year old.